All right, so it's Saturday, September 1st, and me and the family had a pretty big day planned. Uh, we were looking at all these houses uh, and then trying to shoot out to Palm Springs for my sister's wedding reception. She got married a couple days ago at the courthouse, and now it's a big family gathering. And we were just about to head out there, and uh, Kenda started really having some strong contractions. As you can see, she's doing good. She's working through them. She's the best. Everybody's hero at this point. And so we're just kind of waiting for some backup. Uh, my manager's gonna come over and help us out with this little one. Say hi, Royal. <laughs> He's gonna come take over so we can head to the hospital and uh, hopefully get to see the twins today. All right, we're here at the hospital. The babies are coming out tonight. It's official. Uh, we have uh, about four hours until the C-section, and let's check in. How are you feeling, babe? Very strong contractions. They're pretty close. Now that they put me on the IV, they've spaced out a little bit, but I am definitely feeling the contractions. But I'm super excited to finally see the boys. We've been waiting a while, and it's, it's finally here, so... I'm a little bit nervous about getting cut open. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of just hit me but I know I'm in good hands, so I'm just, I'm excited to see the boys. <laughs> the twins are coming tonight. Look at the champ right here. <laughs> Royal, what's that? Is that your brothers? <laughs> Meet your brothers. <gasps> Who's that? Babies? What's your shirt say? Does it say big sis of twin boys? Oh. What's that? Baby? Big, big sis. You, you feel so big compared to them. <laughs> You're a big chunky monkey. We had them Saturday, no, Sunday morning. At 12.30, yeah. yeah. I mean, basically Saturday night. <laughs> so it's been about a day and a half. Um, sorry, things are foggy to us. We haven't <laughs> had much sleep. Um, it's been a little different this time around because with Royal, we had, she went straight to the NICU and the, the nurses are there watching over them 24-7 so we were able to be in the room relaxed and go see her whenever we wanted. Um, this time we kind of thought they would be in the NICU because they're premature but they were like no go go for it you guys got it. So we've been up uh, majority of the time feeding them every three hours and it's a two-person job. I have only gotten like an hour and a half to two hours at a time. So, and then I'm up for like five hours and then two hours maybe. And so it's like, and I'm on Norco <laughs> because all my anesthesia has worn off and I, it, the pain kicked in. So I'm a little like, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they've been in the room with us since we've had them, which was unexpected. It's a nice surprise, but it's, like he said, it's a lot different. Um, and they're a lot bigger than we thought they were gonna be, 5.5 um, pounds. Um, but they're still so small, especially compared to Royal, who is eight pounds. They're so tiny, so like changing their little shirts and like diapers and stuff, they're so small and it's like nerve wracking. <laughs> Um, yeah, because <laughs> Royal came at 40 weeks, possibly 41 weeks, we think. We think she was a little overdone, <laughs> but uh, these guys came at 35 weeks. so In two days. Yeah, so it's quite a difference. That's why they're so small. 
Um, but they've been so good. They um, don't have any jaundice. They don't have any um, trouble holding their temperature. Um, their lungs are doing great. Um, so like everything, their hearing is great. Everything's been like pretty positive. They were checking their blood sugar at first because of course I had gestational diabetes, but they stopped doing that. Um, they're feeding every three hours. Um, they're latching, they're like slowly every time, like eating more and more. So they're doing really, really good. And um, I'm happy about that. I'm tired, but I'm happy about it. <laughs> Our little art projects yeah. keeping us busy in the hospital room. <laughs> we brought crayons from home. Yes. We're like trying not to forget who's who, but the nurses were like, which one is which? And they, I could tell every time that nurses were around, they were having trouble keeping up with which is which. They have bracelets that match ours, so we, no matter what, we can just go back to the numbers to say which one's which. But they're all bundled up, so that's last resort. <laughs> We still like to color, even though we have three kids. <laughs> We've been seeing everyone's messages, and we really appreciate it. Uh, we definitely feel the love, and uh, we're excited to, to bring them home, hopefully tomorrow. Yeah.